My name is Thomas with Benchmark Tool and Supply. I'm here to show you how to download your millimeter transmitter into Pocket 3D. What we're going to do is we're going to come in here to Setup and go to Millimeter Transmitter. And what I got to do is add a profile for this specific laser. What I'm going to click is Add, and I'm going to name this device. Preferably, you name it the serial number of the unit. On the back side of this unit, you have it under LZT5. This one is LR1433. This just helps keep it clean and keep it organized when you're pulling these out of the box if you have multiple transmitters. So, LR. Once I've done that, my next step is I need to download the millimeter firmware out of this device onto this data collector. So once I have the LR1433 selected, I'm going to go down to download. It's going to ask you to make sure it's turned on. So now I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hit refresh if I can't find the Bluetooth device for this transmitter. Once again, every Topcon device is always labeled the serial number of the unit. So on the back side of this, again, it's LZT5LR1433. So once you hit refresh and it pulls up, you're going to select LZT5LR1433 just to back up and just confirm, check the serial number on the back of the unit. That is the correct one. I'm going to highlight it and hit OK. And then eventually you're going to see the firmware pop up. Until you see a firmware downloaded next to the serial number name, it hasn't been downloaded correctly. Once it is set up there, you know you're good to go. Common mistakes when downloading firmware is selecting the wrong unit before you hit download from the Bluetooth screen. The most important thing of this is making sure you have the correct firmware downloaded to the right instrument. For any questions, please contact us at benchmarksupply.com or reach out to our service department.